This conference will now be recorded. The time being 7.03, we will call the Tilton Budget Committee to order September 8th, 2021. And first we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Sorry, no. I knew I owned that. So. I was wondering why we say that. All right. First, we will review the meeting minutes from uh, 6 30, 2021. I think this is the first time we had initials on here. Or I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that okay? Sure. We don't have a, well, I was like, huh? enough confusing names. I think. <laughs> I just have one suggestion that uh, we really should have an adjournment time. Oh, we don't, we normally do. Yeah, I think maybe it's just something. Like oh, a time, actual yeah. time. Yeah, okay. just in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't here. Sorry. You want to move to accept the meetings with No, that? I wasn't here for that meeting. Oh, so. okay, sure. I was looking at past meetings. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's fine. It's just helpful. Then you know how long the meeting was. Anyone want to make a motion? Was this the time we talked about not sending letters out? Yes. Huh. Can you remember what you did? Well, on where is that? <laughs> um, Revamping the letter, blah, 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 last year, Bill. I had said we shouldn't mail. Well, yeah, I thought we had. I don't see that anywhere. <laughs> I thought we had talked about that too. I thought I read it. <laughs> I don't see it. Because if Tim did say he was well, going to add a the discussion link. about revamping a letter to go out, to include taking out the RSA, letting it know that in the future they will not be receiving letters and they will need to go to the town website to send funds. So we we said to send out one last letter. But this year, I think we said that this would be the last year we chase email. Chase it. Oh, and the then, email. And then we decided to go email, which is I guess not in. Uh, yeah. Look at that probably, sentence. Just before motion passes, right here. Yeah. It says um, made a motion to email all of last year's agency okay. solicitors as courtesy. Okay. Go to the website to apply for funds this year, and going forward in the future, what? Okay. What are we going to do going forward in the future? To go to the website. Yeah, the same thing. <laughs> so that's missing. That's not go to the website to apply for funds this year and going forward. Yeah, so, so maybe not where, in the future, means, just say going they forward. They always have to go to the website. So the that's where we said when this is the last time we're sending out letters. Oh, okay. Right, exactly. Okay, yeah. so all that language is missing from that spot. So add. Oh, anybody that want to make a motion so we can correct things? I'll move we accept the, the minutes of As amended? Wednesday, June 30th. Is there a second? Second. Okay, and discussion. So oh, we okay. want to now. Um, what do we want to do, Kathy? Well, Christine's the one that made this deal on the set, right? All right, so we made it, it <laughs> says instead of saying going forward in the future, to say going forward, period. And then, um, as we won't be sending out um, letters or emails. 
And going forward, we will no longer send out letters or email. Or are you going to get rid of going forward? <laughs> Do you just end it with going forward and then the next sentence is but, but it doesn't in the future that's what I mean. in the future uh yeah, yeah, and going forward what well, in the future all agencies will go to the website to to uh solicit the town i like what christine said we'll no longer send out letters or emails okay that's just me so after going forward and no longer send out no, letters and emails, is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. Can we add that there? And then Deb, Deb said, and at the time at the end. So go to the website. You go to the website to apply for funds this year. Are we getting in just a period there? And, and going forward, period. Okay. Because that that tells them they have to go to the website. We will no, no longer be sending out emails or letters. Period will not be sending out. Well, you don't want a period after forward. Oh, no period after forward. And going forward. We will not be sending it. Yeah. Oh, okay. We will no longer send out letters or emails. Because if we put a period after forward, we're down. Right. Right. Incomplete. Thought. We should hang in. Any other corrections and additions? Oh, okay. All those in favor of um, proving the minutes as corrected? Aye. 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 Any uh, opposed? Okay, passes. All right. Two oh, abstentions. Okay. Two, two abstentions. Very good. Extensions. 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 So everyone's probably just barely got their uh, the uh, the packages. So. Yeah. Printed it all off. Nice. I got two. Okay. <laughs> I review some of them today myself, but probably we should just. Um, get our calendar ready on who we and you said there's people are sending what they would wish to, to be yeah, in. Yeah, I have eight people that have that have thick times. Yep. And dates. Yeah, well why don't you go ahead and Let's read us those. Okay. So for because we had um, talked about doing a meeting date on September twenty second and then ten six and thirteen. Uh huh. Um, so I have three that have responded for the 22nd of September. And it's Paul Memorial Library, um, PAP, and Park Cemetery Association. Can I just say something? When I joined the Budget Committee, I told you guys I have um, selectments meetings on Wednesdays. Right. So we had one today. So our next one will be the 22nd. <laughs> so, I mean, we need to get on the right cycle. Okay. <laughs> um, the today, uh, the first one of the month is at 10 a.m. The second one is at 3 p.m. So I, I may not be here for a 7 o'clock meeting on the 22nd. Okay. And I would like to participate, so. Okay. So, I mean, starting today. So they go every it once other a week? Month, they meet um, every other Wednesday. Every other Wednesday. Yeah, so we had one today, so we won't have one on the 15th, we'll have one on the 22nd, we won't have one on the 29th, we'll have one on the 6th. So I just, it would be helpful if I could. How, what did they say? They said that was the, when they were, would be ready? That was their first day. Okay. Uh, because I wonder if they'd be able to meet on the 15th. Then we skip, skip the 22nd. Oh. Yeah. I think, I mean, Park Cemetery is pretty simple. That sh I would think they would be able to make it. So, and sounds like Hall Memorial Library has it pretty much together. Old Home Day will be finished. You're going to get something in here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, easy. We could do the 15th. Yeah. That's tax day, but I'll be here. Who, who else have you got listed? It was a um, community action program. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. And did we have any other dates for people or? So the dates, the the other dates are 10, 6, 10, 13, and 10, 20. Okay, yeah. who are they? So the ones that, I put them in order, he was like first choice. Why are we skipping 929? This is a suggestion to have well, we're doing these, so you're not filling the entire October because if she's out on the 22nd, yeah, so, so we're the gonna say these are the dates that Deb can't make it. You can't make it the 22nd or the 6th, you can't make the 6th or the 20th. I can't or the 20th. The What's that? I can't make the 6th either. <laughs> okay, or the, the 3rd. No, yeah, every, every other okay. Wednesday. All right, so we'll just uh. If we start meeting every other Wednesday, it's gonna we're not going to get this done. Right. Well, well, no, I think we can. First of all, we. It's if only we, if she has a priority. It's not going to be every other Wednesday because the first one of the month is at 10 a.m. So I can do that one. Okay. okay. So, so, so that I can't means do you the can do the, You can do the sixth. I can then. do the sixth. Yeah. Okay. And you can do the third. Can't do the twentieth. Yeah. So do the 20th. it's just the twentieth right. and the twenty-second. Okay. So we do have 10 in the morning on those days. Okay. All right. So, so can we move 922 to 929 instead of 915? Is that, would that be easier for you? Go, okay. I mean, there's Park Cemetery. Um, Cemetery, Hall library, Memorial library, cap, 29. cap, we could all do on the 29th. Maybe open. And Hold, hold yeah. if you have it ready yeah, because those those are real quick so let's see if they can do that on the 29th okay. um 10 6. who do you have on 10 6. so on 10 6 <clears throat> what is it casa okay gotcha. special advocates and then uh the time okay Ten six you minutes miss that one. Probably. Okay. Sorry. Is it Julia? So I have a question. Do we need to review every single one of the outside agencies? Well, no, I I mean I if we get a chance to look at them and say as far as I'm concerned, Park Cemetery doesn't have to come in. Well, it's not an outside agency. I mean it provides us point. with a town cemetery, which is necessary by RSA. Okay. You see what I mean? Unless we build another town cemetery. Yeah. I guess it's up to because there's three new people. They want to meet with all these people. Julie's probably familiar with a lot of them, but I don't think it's necessary to I mean, you, see the cemetery. Red Cross, we usually the yay or nay. And yeah. Well, they just haven't been we on have, time. We anyway, haven't funded so. them for a couple of years now. Yeah. So you're saying we have to meet with the Park Cemetery? No, I mean, no. so if we re <clears throat> if we review these and we're like, okay, Park Cemetery, we don't have any questions. It's yeah, you know, just normal. I haven't looked at any of them. Maybe we don't have to meet with them. Right. I mean, I I, I would agree with that. I mean, I look at the Park Cemetery; it's gone up like a thousand dollars for some little thing. So it's yeah. it, you know they <laughs> they're always hurting anyway. So. That's what I mean. Yeah. Um, um, old home day is another one I don't think we need to to have people come into and waste time because yeah. it's fairly cut and dry. That's what I'm saying. So um, we might want to take our first meeting and go through these and go, okay, we do we need, need any to come in? See this one, yeah. need to see this one. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. Do you that right now. Meet just to meet. Yeah. Don't you think? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have the old home day stuff here. So. I don't have it with me now, yeah. but I can look at it from tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the concert series, um, have we heard from them at all? Or? No, that was what I was going to ask you yep. how you want to handle it since I've done a few people in the theater and those. You want me to? I, I can ask Joe tomorrow night, Joe Jasper. Okay, great. Because, yeah. you know, it was kind of a shock that um, Allison passed away. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So I will, double, and, I will double check with Joe tomorrow. Sure. So I can get That's another one we really don't have to have yeah. anybody. Right. Um, Um, I mean, there's, there's, um, yeah, 
and uh, the library. Um, also a fairly simple. Um, Maybe we should take a vote and see if anybody already wants this particular one to come in. I've seen these the last how many years? <laughs> Jack Paul and Pines to me are all also kind of crucial ones that we um, need to look at, but um, are also mm -hmm. fairly clean. You know, you, there's not a lot of questions usually. There are some weird things happening on the Pines, which I'm not sure I understand. But um, are they going to change the name of it once they cut all the trees down? <laughs> Um, so do you want to start looking quickly at um like the park cemetery yes sure. Sure. i know yeah i need a lamp i have last year's too <coughs> okay so <laughs> like the overall description is basically cemetery. <laughs> it doesn't look like Park Cemetery's request went up. Um, it's a budget of 2020. Last year was 6,000. 2022 proposed was 6,000. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the same one. <laughs> so I'm assuming maybe your today actual was nine thirty twenty twenty one because that's what was nine thirty twenty twenty last year. So where I guess I don't have the page that has the request. No, I don't. It gets here the, the written stuff. It says right at the like the third line, fourth line down. Oh, six thousand. Oh, I, okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's changed this year, so we don't work. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Yeah, and so we could entertain a motion. Well, just one comment. I mean, from a year, there's income went way down though. These were 7,700 in the prior years, 2950. So 42,000 to 23. I wonder what happened there. Like that. Well, did something else go up, like the CD or something? Or did they put oh, somewhere else? Okay. I did notice that they, well, they get perpetual care funds. Expenditures maybe went down a thousand, but I know they were saying something about uh, client trust seven hundred sixty-five thousand fifty three percent. Their expenses were, were way down too. Oh, they did a new roof, I know, in that prior year, and they bought a backhoe, and they used fourteen thousand from Tilton Trust Fund. Yeah, that's their picture. Funds still look good though. They did good. They got less income. They had uh you know, they maintained their, their perpetual. They took out stone cleaning expense for the proposed. That was that's an income. Yeah. So they didn't use any trust this <clears throat> action. Although they have nine thousand in the budget. And their payroll went up. So they yeah, they still uh that's only a year to date. So yeah. They'll still the proposed is only up. up maybe less than a thousand, so right. Well the total is up. 
Yeah. And the in income went up too. Yeah, I mean, this is nothing that jumps out that says, oh my God. You're right. <laughs> it's in good. I'm going to throw away prior to you now if we're going to pull it on. <laughs> So would someone like to make a motion? Um, I'll make a motion to accept the Park Cemetery's uh, appropriation for $6,000. Second. I'll second. Christine first, Catherine second. Uh, any discussion more? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Do we have like a little spreadsheet like we had last year so we can keep track? We just have that. I'm right? making, making my own. But, uh, okay. Yes. Just wrote it on my own. Okay. Okay. What else would we like to do? I think it's the biggest old home day one, but it's going to be the same thing as it's always. So we can just hit that when we get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, has anyone else had a chance to look at over some of the? Um, so am I reading this wrong or? Is is Hall Memorial's budget increasing by almost twice? No, I, it's coming I mean, up a little West, bit. But, uh, looks like last year was 65.975. This year they want 131.950. No, there is some confusion. Is it Did I read that wrong? I didn't even read that. I got the bunches on it though. I like to see the old and the new. I guess my old. So, so they're, 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 they're asking for 131,950. And, and there's 40, that's 46% of. Well, last year they asked for 275,525. Right. Yeah. So uh, I put from, us, next from us, they're asking for 131, which is 46% 40 of their 2022 budget. Oh. It's gone up a little bit, I think. In, uh, yeah, I see what they did. They, the wages. they split on this one. I can see what they did. They split their. Um, Request for 2021 and half. So actually, they're only asking 46% from us. Yeah. And then the 50 I see what they did. From so they changed that up because that of the weird. memberships. You want to build more? Well, it's. Um, they did say why they did that. Yeah. This is a Say they did it as of eight nine, which is not even a year. So, no, I just mean the way they have income and expenses. Well, ninety six percent of the budget is is um, payroll is from the two municipal appropriations. They have ninety six percent of their entire annual income, and uh, they had a little breakdown at the end here. And, uh, Are they back open? Yes. They did not receive COVID-19 county or state funding. So they, they only get funding from the towns. Did they apply or and get denied or well they I can't can because they're not apparently there are okay. two municipalities and not one or something. So uh, I'm not sure. What a rip off. Yeah, yeah. I think well, the some, way I would explain to me that like we have a village district within and if the towns had money left, they could choose to share it with districts. But we didn't have any money left. We spent a lot. 
So it might be the same situation with both of them contributing to the library. Tim's not here. We could ask him if there's money left over. <laughs> they are applying for a grant. It's a They have a new librarian. So what percentage did it go up? Well, last year it was 275, 525 total. Mm -hmm. and the proposed is 287, 750. What gets the salary? Mm -hmm. Right. The um, Social Security proposed increase this year was 6.2%, which is huge. And a lot of towns base the COLA on what Social Security does. So, mm -hmm. Put in the two percent increase. Okay. I think we more than that. That's reasonable. That's what they say. So it's a twelve thousand two twenty five increase. We don't know when their year end ends because I'm going to guess twelve thirty one. They've used one hundred thirty three instead of one hundred forty two. Oh, that's income. So income, yeah, it's less. They've gotten mm -hmm. less, and they used more. One hundred fifty thousand in expenses when they budgeted one twenty-five. Now they're proposing two eighty-seven seven. That's a twelve thousand two twenty-five increase. Yeah, From increase. the budget, but not the. We don't know what their actual. Year end is to see if they have money left over, but there's a six thousand increase in benefits, health, and dental, and there's um, about eight thousand in wages. And sewer and water has gone up. Sewer and water went up almost a thousand. Those are the main areas where the costs have gone up. And it's the benefits and the wages that are creating basically that. Well, you said they hired a new director, and a lot of times when you bring a new employee in, you have to pay a little more. Well, Do they, cover they did say they added 2% increase in wages to oh, the whole staff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do they cover 100% of the of benefits of the labor? I think you have to ask them. Because if they do or don't in their municipality, and if the town only covers, let's say, 80%, I don't know what the town is either, that's what they should be covering instead of full. You've got two towns that use the city budget. What? If you have two towns that you that pay for the library, mm -hmm. so you can bet that Tilton and Northfield don't do the same. Yeah, good point. Yeah. I have to consider Tilton. <laughs> right. I think you find Tilton's probably a more generous plan. Mm -hmm. They're not asking for an increase this year. The town? Oh, Memorial. Oh, uh, he said there was 2%. Yeah, for the. Well, it says back here. And in the first page, it's 2021, once ago, 131,950. And the request for this year is 131,950. Okay, so the increase is being for oh, the budget. Yeah. Yeah. 46 percent. So that was. <laughs> What did we approve for last year? 
This is why the spreadsheet would be helpful. Next one, one thirty one nine big fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it was our budget that passed the legislative body. And right. Like, right. I don't remember them increasing it at the meeting. Oh, well, we didn't increase any. It was only us there. No, but they had a lot of issues last year about you know, trying to stay open. Me and open Catherine and were there. <laughs> <laughs> It would be helpful to have a spreadsheet that shows what we did last year, especially for a new person. You could probably get Janet's from La Janice's from last year and just mm -hmm. move the numbers over. It, it's really helpful. Okay. I'm sure I have one on the what did you, you mean you want to know what? It would just be helpful to know what they had last year and see if that's an issue and see how much of an increase. Or deep. Yeah, that's why we usually ask for like a three year. Well, they do have three years here. Right, but so what different. we actually approved. Well, Where is Janet? Will, will you can read this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right, there you go. Yeah, we had one last read year. That wasn't the, I mean, the one Janice made for us for all of them on one sheet of paper. So the the actual. So they're projecting a little bit of an increase in their income. Also, right. Probably because they're open more. Not complete yet, so that actually is going to be much less. Right. Yeah, today it's the twenty twenty and twenty twenty one budgets are exactly the same. We're on the wrong feet. <laughs> Yes. I guess it's that. It needs to be at the end because I can't hear anything. Switch places. The difference is oh. down seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they. So they asked. Oh, 2020 so they're, actually they're, they're down from 2019 by 22,000, which maybe that was from COVID money or something. Because it was so. a negative. Oh, that's because they haven't used that. Yeah, so I've used it. Yeah. Catherine pointed out they're getting extra money at, on the trust department that they're going to get before the end. Mm -hmm. so the, they're projecting that. They get the okay. So that's what they're projecting. Because the, the markets are coming back. Did I remember right. they can only use the interest from their trust? I think I saw that. I think I read that. Fines, gifts, and trust. Anyway, I like level funding. The income was down in 2021 because of COVID. Yeah. It was way down. What? The income was down in 2021 due to COVID. Uh huh. So that would hurt. Expenses will be down too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did they actually close or are people here doing other things like staff? They closed they for a while. Closed? I think they did a lot of drive up type of stuff. And then they did, yeah. So they were still paying some payroll and stuff. Right. Well, that's kind of one thing we had asked was, you know, how did COVID, how would the COVID payments affect last year? And the, I don't see many people that have actually filled that in. So we don't know. Mm. I mean, it was a little. Because there was two people. Nobody knew asked. last year either, half the time, what yeah. they were getting or if they had to pay it back. SBA loans, Main Street. That most of those are only staying in 2021. The second PPP would only, I mean, in 2020 would be the only thing that I think they would get in 2021. They could get some more, right? They would have already, it's over now, but they would have had to get a second bra, and that's for payroll and rent and stuff. But Main Street wasn't again in 21, and uh, SBAs didn't do another one in 21. So we only have one to worry about, I guess. Mm 
whatever Actually, it looks like they're level funding what they had asked last year right yeah so you might want to go with that I'm not, I, I think the wages are down they've actually their is it their wages are up up yeah from this well it says 162 from 2021 and this is proposed as 157.5 yeah so it's down for 2022 well, the 2021 budget was 149.80. Oh, well, they gave us 162 uh, proposed. Yeah, here here on this page, they have it next to it. Yeah. So, so the benefits and their wages went up, but. Yeah, no PP, that's fine. We need more insight. So, so we're going to level one. Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should make them cut a lot more. It does sound like they're getting their programs back together. They're trying to get uh, more uh, grants from the state. And they seem to be starting up a lot of their programs. So um, as long as you know, COVID is under control, I think they'll continue to get back to normal. And, uh, it'd be nice to meet the new librarian. You can go in there. She's she been in the store. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to go. <laughs> but if you, you know, if we wanted to just talk a little, it's up to the board. It's up to the board. I hate to ask someone to come in for if they don't need to. Right. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, anybody I'm want just to amazed they survived. I said I'm amazed they survived. They were having a tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a motion to approve the funding request for the Paul Memorial Library at $131,950. Hey, Judy made a motion. Any second? Roll second. Okay, discussion. Sound good? Mm -hmm. okay, They're level, they level funding, yeah. Kathy, you got anything to say? Christine, any other? Well, all those in favor of, of approving the Hall Memorial Library 2022 request, say aye. 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 Opposed? Looks like it's unanimous. <laughs> Hold that. Just take last year's and repeat it. I have. I probably have last year before to repeat it. We have them last year. Oh. Right. We miss home old home there. You know, I know. You're on the side of caution. I know, but was it? It's going to be in the area where all the pine trees are having issues. We don't know. We even have a place to have it. I know. <laughs> Maybe they'll let you go across it by the uh, the fire department on that side. Oh, yeah. Set up. 
Somebody mentioned the red battery. Uh, it's not. Uh, How about the new The police station? The back of Tanger, maybe? <laughs> so you can have a parade and then get in your car and drive to Tanger? Yeah, the parade can go all the way to Tanger. Yeah. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to Tanger. I know. I'll find old holes. Yeah, and the horse pole. The horse pole is finally coming. Right, yeah. All right. Oh, I'll tie it into those trees. There's a facility on Sargent Street. Not a lot of electricity on the bike. Children's schools, athletic fields. That was only after the fireworks and the broken glass. I thought the problem was the mm -hmm. I thought the problem was the sprinklers. They, they have they they have they have a they have an eight thousand pound mower that goes across the sprinklers. I don't know. Old home so they no, that good that good to know. Just a bit off. What about the most cold? That was we couldn't. No, we don't have enough. They made they made you know. Well, but that won't hurt the grass. Yeah, but that's not going to hurt the grass. Well, that the grass. There were three of them that we didn't fund last year, and uh, we didn't fund a bunch. Yeah, I know we didn't do. Um, I think Future we barely did. Casa. Um, then Cap. We didn't do we the did, uh, right? Lake Region Mental Health Association. Oh yeah, we did them. But we did, yeah, the Franklin VNA we yeah. did, and Cap we did. I think we did. Yeah. And then. Well, I think we did New Beginnings. Did we? Is there more? Did we local? find New Beginnings? Local? I don't think so. I think you said you did it, but I don't have my list. Oh, I think. We do have, this might be a stupid question, but we have like a criteria, a sheet of criteria that you decide. Well, most of these reports tell us you just have to look for it. It's like CAP. It looks like um, we gave you 2000 last year and they want 2000 well, Last year, there's so much COVID money that mm -hmm. these, these are all is. giant. Um, corporate type. Um, and we didn't so think they well needed our little bit of money that we could use here. Mm -hmm. So, and I know money. one reason they they want participation is to show that we are here, that we approve that their agency being here mm -hmm. and worth it. So, um, because they they assist the members of your team. Right. They all have, you know. The, but if they um, don't need our money, that's mm -hmm. why they. They're getting federal money that's you don't need to add more to that mm -hmm. since we're giving it to the federal anyway. So, um, Last year was unique. Actually, okay, it's, uh, it's, uh, I'll get to look in the Lakes Region Mental Health percent municipal funding point zero 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 one seven. <laughs> That's what our our donation is. Yeah. Um, that's what we're trying to decide on. What if we can dispose of anything else here, and then we'll figure out. So Cap wants to be. They would want to be nine twenty nine. We'd want to change them to nine twenty nine. Yeah. I think. But we don't, we're not having oh, the other you know, like Right. Budget? We could, you yeah. can send a letter to the yeah. Park yeah. Cemetery yeah. and the Hall yeah. Memorial Library that we yeah. have yeah. Yeah. their yeah. requests. Yeah. One of those That'd bonded ones. So we don't need yeah. one up there. I guess they don't anymore. Oh, they don't, they don't need here anymore. Well, the, the other ones that I think we could dispose of fairly quickly would be a youth assistance program. Um, I think we need to talk to the Pines just to understand what's happening over there. Um, so Youth Assistance Program, the Franklin DNA, and CAP are the other ones that we usually discuss for a while. The CAP is asking for what, 3,000? And that's what we did last year? No. Cash is 12,000. Yap, Yap is a fairly sizable <clears throat> market, but we were putting that with.
So if you look at the youth assistance program, they're they're fairly simple. Youth assistance program. Yeah. Yeah. So they they the director salary went up two and a half percent, and health insurance went up. Rent has yes. gone up. New Hampshire unemployment went up. Um, and that's from people having to file unemployment. Now they do have they need to get another group state of New Hampshire grant. Fifteen five seventy four. And uh, they do get another type of grant. Last year they asked for forty eight one ninety six. So they're asking forty six one oh five. Then last question. Youth assistance program. Oh. Maybe it's in this. this but area. somehow Northfield reduced their. So they got a state grant, and I guess Northfield selectmen subtracted the amount of that state grant and on I, their side. They didn't share it with us. <laughs> they took it out on their side. I was wondering if they took all the grant. Well, they okay. yeah, they reduced the grant money. It's sad. It, it it looked, maybe we need to talk to them about. What well, it says <laughs> under funding sources for fiscal year 2022, 2122, the amount of 15,574 will be. Return to Tilton's office of the tax burden of the family. Well, what they did over at Northville was they reduced what they were going to pay them by that total grant, even though it should have been split. So they took 30000 out of it, that of this half of that, right? I'm not sure of the number. That's what is a little confusing. They're asking us for 46 and they're asking Northville for 64 And but yeah. Northfield decided not to pay them, we're only going to pay them 24 awesome. or something like that, right? That's, that's what seems to be in uh, let's see that we will be requesting 64,287 from the town of Northfield for 2022. This amount is 58% of the YAP operating budget and is based on the school population. Our request to Northfield last year was 57,439, which was approved at town meeting in May 2021. The Northfield mm -hmm. Club decided to deduct the state grant from this amount and reduce it to 24,212. Oh, so they took it on. They took uh -huh. $35,000. We are still in the process of addressing this budget cut. So we don't really know how they're dealing with that. Mm -hmm. And they did say, and it was they, secured a PPP loan, which has been forgiven. One or two, we don't know. Yeah. So maybe we should talk to them, huh? Revenue. I don't see PPP on this revenue page. I think it might be this year. But there, there, there was that. one. Right here, PPP loan, $9,232. What's the page look like? It's on the uh, revenues. They have two columns. Oh, okay, over there, yeah, okay. So they must only got one. So they based the potential town on the population. So you want yeah, to more Right, that makes okay. sense. Yeah, that's that's right. I did read that. So it's not splitting them then. Right. It's like most school oriented. So when they get um, I want to know state aid is that also apportioned out differently to children? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a per student, so it just goes to district per student. Uh, why would they get $35,000 Northfield from the state? We not <laughs> that's that's the question I, I guess I have. 
what we did we approve anything for these guys last year? How full, much? Full budget. Oh, full budget. Forty thousand. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Has it all. Well, this is this is my notes. Uh, youth assistance program. Uh, Forty-eight. Yeah, but it's not. And we approved it. Put a circle over there. Are we well, that's budget committee voted. Um, that's I checked it later. Twelve sixteen. We voted. If you want to look up the minutes, but I think we voted again. We yeah, I thought then it was we all got, zero and zero, and then I know Pat wanted to do yeah. something brought forward. Yes. So this, but. Um, so Lake Street Unit Mental Health, see the people over here, yeah. do 6,000, zero here, zero for Child Waypoint, yeah. um, did the 12 for the visiting nurses, uh, new beginnings, yeah. I guess we did those zero on the yeah. and, I thought we did a and lot of cast of new beginnings, yeah. and, and Pines, we did that on 12, 16, that's why I put the dates there. Okay. Yeah. I know my, my notes are not very I must not have been there. Do you remember oh, giving you the system there for? It should be. Oh, it was $20,000. Yeah. yeah, I did. <laughs> so put them on the list to come in. Yeah, yeah. let's let's have the app to come so, in. So Lisa, you okay. come in. Their first um, choice was 1020. <laughs> and the second choice is 1013. 1013. You're out with 1013. Well, yeah, 1013 would be good. 1013. You're, you're okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll put, yeah, 1013. But you're also here 106. That's your early. Right. So Pines is one of 106. I just write that. And that that's one. Yeah, that their first choice was ten six. Okay. So that should go. Okay, yeah. Um, did Frank and VNA give us anything? So ten six is good. We're gonna have to find the Sure, yeah. I didn't hear that. Hmm? What you said? Pines will have on ten six and sure. yap on ten thirteen so far. Yeah. Pines is on October 6th? Yeah. Okay. And they're working on Franklin DNA right now. Thank you. They haven't sent me anything. Um, they were off the street. So they didn't meet the deadline. No, I just mean for the dates. Yeah, she just are still sitting for days Oh, okay. I'm like, what? First choice Okay. So we could ask one. to do <laughs> Franklin VNA and CAP on 929. Because we don't have anything on 929 right now. What do you guys VNA think? and who? And VN, Franklin VNA. And CAP. I guess Casa wanted to be on 10 6. Did Casa say 10 6? Yes. So right now we have um, Pines and Casa 10 6. And 929, we have Franklin and Cap. Um, Is this is 10 13? Yeah, do we want to? Uh, what do we got? 1013, we've got YAP. What what would you want to put in with 1013? Um, I mean, Lake Street and New Beginnings are fairly similar. They're the really big organizations. So would we want to um, cram those all together on like 1013 with, with YAP? Uh, Unless we want to spread it out more. 
Well, we can technically mm -hmm. put in that and everybody will have a chance to look everything over and decide if they even need, anybody needs to come in. Okay, yeah. Okay. We already know we want so, youth assistance in. Okay, so, right. So, in case we might not even want to fund them, I guess, if we did right. last year. Right. Yeah, we don't want to make them come in for nothing. Right. So, okay, why don't we put those for consideration? Future in sight, new beginnings. So, just look at those to see. Well, people will be able to get look through these a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, the next meeting is right now, it's the 29th, right? So, we have. Or two weeks in between. Yeah. yeah. Three weeks. Unless we wanted to meet next week to um, consider what we want to, if there's anything we don't want to fund. Is that enough time? Is that enough time for people to look over the stuff? It's, it is gets a little complicated, some of the figures and stuff. Okay, so why, why don't we meet next week and decide um, if there's anything that we don't want to fund or or if we have do have questions. And the old home there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. That should, be, that should be quick. Yeah. What's the date next week? 15th. 15th. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Did we, did you add um, for, for 1013 in the app house? Is anybody else on that? We're not going to decide not on yet, the 15th. Okay, yeah. Sure yeah. Right now, we, we, you can tell, so you yeah. Right. Yeah, so you can send. Um, yeah, 10th, that they're here for the 1013 yeah. and Pines at 106. Yes. Right. Unless we change our mind on Castle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll know that next week. Yeah. I'd say just confirm Pines and Yap for now. <laughs> okay, you right. Don't send anything to Castle yet? Yeah, that maybe not. Yeah. 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 And maybe check with Janice on that um, spreadsheet. Yep. She's she heard me. Thanks, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it's going to be great to have. Huh? Okay. Any other business? Um, just a quick question on the usually the towns are having to go to the select board and all that and that runs behind are they going to get started on that do you, do we know you're on the select board well tim's will know i think when tim gets back <laughs> okay he'll, he'll back a, next week, maybe? we'll he's, see he's back. he was in the office yesterday. oh well he's actually in quarantine so oh no. his granddaughter was diagnosed with covid oh. so now he's Ooh. he's out for like Tim Pearson. Yeah. He's a tech guy. He can work from home. Did he just sign that up like yesterday? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, no. It's all for him. Okay. We'll entertain that. Could you email that spreadsheet when you get it instead of waiting for the? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Eight o three. Julie made it. We do the important. It's so cute. <laughs> That's a nice solid hour of work, guys. Good job.